everyone and welcome back to Chantry Community Academy. We're going to make this short little video to help and support you as some of you are probably feeling a little bit anxious about returning back to school and at the moment there is so much in the media that probably is making some of you wonder my goodness what on earth is going to happen. Well here we are outside on our main sort of patio area at Chantry, as you all know, we've got loads of entrances and exits. We've got lots and lots of different gates. The staff have worked really, really hard to ensure that we have really good stagger times and operation and different gates and entrances and exits for you to use. More information can be found on our website where you'll see the breakdown for each individual year groups. Here we are at our main reception area. Anybody visiting our school will be expected to follow some of the rules and expectations we've put into place. Obviously these rules and expectations have been put into place to keep our whole school community safe. That's our parents, our staff and our children. Visitors to our site will be very limited. Any visitors that we do have will be expected to adhere to our social distancing expectations and also on entry to the building everybody regardless of whether that's a parent, whether it's a child or a member of staff will have to sanitise their hands and make sure that they are really, really well done. Right, imagine it's next week and you're a child in year six. You're coming through the front gate, saying goodbye to your parents in carer, because obviously we are limiting the number of people on site. You'll come around, you'll be met by your school adult who will make sure that you are socially distancing and keeping everybody, including yourself, safe. You'll come along and it doesn't matter which entrance or exit around the school, they've all got sanitizers. We've got sanitizers everywhere. So children, you'll sanitize your hands, giving them a really good wipe before you come into the school building. And then in you'll come. We will make sure at busy periods that the doors are held back in a safe way. This will then stop hands touching. Obviously our ultimate aim is to keep everybody COVID safe. Every year group have been assigned their own set toilets. Only the children in that year group will use those particular toilets. All the doors have been labelled so that children clearly know where they can go to the toilet. The rule will be that only one child is ever allowed out to use the toilet at one time. This means again that we can ensure that children are safe and that children aren't cross-mixing in corridors. Right, here we are in a classroom and you can see that the classroom um, looks very different to perhaps the way you left us all that time ago in March. So in line with guidance, you can see that the desks are set out clearly in rows and the rows are facing the front. You can see on the desks as well that every child will have their own stationary pack. So children won't be touching, won't be diving into pencil pots and that kind of thing. They'll have everything they need on their desk, again, to keep everybody safe and to stop people touching other people's possessions. The adults in the classrooms will be very much working from the front of the room. So the teachers will be keeping two metres distance uh, while they're teaching and the children will be very much based in their, their desk space, basically. Everything that they need will be given to them, such as books, and teaching will carry on as normal. Some of you might have questions whether the full curriculum will be delivered it will absolutely be delivered. But whereas things that we'd encouraged perhaps in terms of cooperation and group work, those things will change. Assemblies will no longer be in the hall coming together. Assemblies will be classroom based, remotely based. And there are some little changes like that. 
Singing, for example, unfortunately, you know, won't be happening for quite a while. Okay, so we've talked about that school is providing you with stationary packs, which means all your pens and pencils and everything will be provided for you. So you don't have to bring anything like that. We would also say to you, please don't be bringing soft toys or any toys or cards that perhaps some of you have sneaked in in the past. That is just a no. However, there are some things which we do need to flag up to you and that you do need to be bringing in. We would like each of you to make sure that you bring a coat every day because ideally we want to take you out as much as possible. As you know, it's better being outside in the fresh air. So please bring a coat. Even if it looks lovely in the morning, bring a coat that can be put on the back of your chair. We'd also like you to bring a little bag that you might have your reading book in it. Some of you might also have a packed lunch that you're bringing into school and I'll talk a little bit more about lunches later. The other thing that you need, if you wear a pair of glasses, obviously bring your glasses to school every day so you can carry on doing your good learning. Now the most important thing we really do need you to bring to school, we need you to bring into school your own named water bottle. All of our water fountains have been disconnected, which means they're not working. We will not be providing cups and water in classrooms because then again we start to get into who's cleaning them, are they safe? So a named water bottle is what you're going to need that can just be on your table or perhaps you could just put it on the carpet next to you. Now you can see in every classroom, we do have a sink, every room has got a sink with hot and cold running water and obviously again loads and loads of paper towels, loads and loads of hand wash and again sanitizer because at continuous times throughout the day your adults are going to be asking you to wash your hands, sanitize and again that's making sure that we can stop the spread of this nasty disease. Now I said to you that we need to think about lunches. Lunches are going to be happening in your classroom believe it or not. They will be hot school dinners. They will be delivered a little bit like a takeaway service. You'll order your dinner in the morning and at lunchtime at a set time it will be delivered and you'll sit and eat your lunch at your table and everything will happen in the safe confinement of your bubble. However, you may also choose to carry on with a packed lunch. That's absolutely fine as well. The only thing that we'd ask you with packed lunches is that your child can open everything themselves. The adults don't really want to be touching things that are in your child's lunchbox. So please work with us and enable this to happen. Packets need to be openable by your child. Now, we have said, said in all the letters that we've sent out, even at the beginning of the summer, the Trust take your safety very, very seriously. We all do. Now, you may be well aware that obviously there are masks and there are visors. We are saying to parents and carers, it is up to you whether you want your child to wear some kind of face covering. If you do, the expectation is that your child understands how to use that face covering correctly. Now in school, obviously, as I said earlier, we're trying to keep the whole school community safe. So that includes the people working in school. So I just need to make you aware that some of our adults may be choosing to wear a face mask, perhaps like this. And sometimes these can look a little bit scary, but they might choose to wear a face mask, particularly if they are perhaps getting a little bit closer to you, or perhaps if they're dealing with a first aid incident, they would absolutely certainly wear a mask. Now, some adults might also choose to wear a visor as well. Again, it's another safety precaution. So children, don't be alarmed if you see an adult either wearing a mask or wearing a visor, or perhaps both. These are purely here to stop any spread of germs again with this nasty virus. Some adults 
may just simply choose to wear a visor because as we all know masks gosh they're hard work and hot aren't they so some of your adults might simply choose to just have the visor on by itself 